This and last year was all about the three R's. Recession, recovery and resilience. And the good news is we are exiting the recession mode, exiting in the new European next quarter. And we have exited already in the US where we see particularly strong growth together with, uh, with China. Good news is the global economy is in recovery uh, mode after the deepest recession of our lifetimes last year. The bad news, however, is a cyclical recovery, as strong as it is, shouldn't be mistaken with a structural recovery, because it isn't. And fact is, resilience, economic resilience, is still weak. It was weaker before COVID-19 and it will be weaker after COVID-19. Hope is that economic transformation, the US administration plan, greening the recovery, as well as the recovery with uh, digital transformation will increase productivity and increase sustainability of the economic recovery going forward. Well, first of all, we don't expect interest rates to rise much more significantly what they have been doing already, if I'm thinking here about the US. The team of low interest rates for longer is here to stay. However, what are the risks out there for financial markets, but also for the real economy and for the planning ahead, I think is inflation and these inflation risks, which have become much more asymmetric. We still expect benign inflation. This even with an above consensus forecast of for US CPI being 2.4% at the end of this year. And we could even see CPI rising up to 3% at the end of the first quarter or the second quarter in the US. But there's still benign uh, inflation. But clearly, with the US administration plan of going very big and bigger, the better in terms of fiscal spending. And on top of that, policy changes, which could come with respect to minimum wages. And on top of that, uh, policy changes, which have happened already on the central bank front in the US and with all governments around the world being extremely accommodative on the central bank front and still on the fiscal front, inflation is a risk and a key risk to watch. I don't think that financial markets are in a bubble territory. Valuations are high, but then interest rates environment is also particularly low. And then on top of that, we're going to have economic conditions which are improving. And that's great news uh, for corporate earning, earnings. And what is good news for corporate earnings, especially if you discount it at low interest rates, uh, like at today's level, is going to be good news for risky assets. The recovery speed of different industries will continue to vary greatly going forward, in my view. Hardest hit sectors from COVID-19, like accommodation, arts, or recreation, will be boosted without a doubt by the reopening of economies as vaccines are being rolled out. But many companies of these industries will be faced with long-lasting balance sheet damages. So in that sense, it's really important to keep the long-term economic picture in sense. It's really important to keep the credit metrics in check and it's also really important not to forget about the supply chain changes which are also happening at the same time and even as we are reopening our industries and we're going to see a shift again to service industry service industries supply chain restructuring is going to continue uh, to happen and with supply chain restructuring continuing to happen in a post covid 19 world i continue to believe it's extremely important to, to keep best-in-class risk management uh, techniques because the risks out there are also extremely complex and they will remain extremely complex also in the post-COVID-19 world. Thank you for watching and stay healthy.